So it's, it's very, very powerful because this is a new world view. There is no this movement in 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 the Sharia who an abter, as we said the other time, the statement abter also is there is cut off. Cut off. It means is is not able to move. It's, it's under control. Is al hakim al takathir. We are not even the lord of if like of your own situation. We don't own it. It's you, you are a toy. Lahu al hakim al takathir. It's really a takathir in the subject that is making from you a toy, and you are used for accumulation. And the accumulation itself, as Ibn Khaldun al-Zul said, is tada'i al-raghabat, if you like. The accumulation itself will bring... Create new create desires. Create new desires. So there is no end to it. So it means, this is why al-hayat is not lahu and la'ad. The Quran also would define, you know, it's, you can also take it as lahu. You are not aware, it's, 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 you lose the awareness. And this is very interesting, so it means also you need to be careful even as society, as even as Muslim society, so you can continuously free yourself from what you reach it. In, in all levels, in the way you, you read the universe, or the way you read the reference of the direction that is Quran. Because you can extract something that you can use as religion if yourself, that can help you give meaning to your life. But if you stop, you know, freeing your, increasing your ability to free yourself from what you reach it, you can be chained too, even if the origin itself was related to the, you know, the ultimate reference, if you like. And again, I mean, it ends by, by, by really restoring the 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 the, uh, uh, the position that the human beings should really assume. ثم لا تسألنا يوم إذن عن النعي. So to 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 be in the position of responsibility, to be in the position of accountability. This means that you start really thinking about what you really are doing and thinking about the consequences. This is why, I mean, you, you, you always want to have someone, okay, uh, uh, at, the, at, the, at the, we say, this is not a responsible action. If we want to blame someone, okay, we say it is not a responsible action, <laughs> all right? So we need that level, okay? We need the human being to become the subject, not to remain the subject of, of things. Now he is or she is in command of things and knows how already to answer the question. This is a very interesting, Brother Ali, because very beautiful also when the Quran address human being. The Quran is using here ilm and use latus alun. Let's take these two if you like concept and study them in relation with human being. We know the other creature, they can do things. The bee or the birds or any other creature, they have that ability to do things. But it's, we, call, we don't call it ilm. It's part of it. Like instinct, like in the bee you know, or the bee They were born with it. But the human being is, the idea is that the ilm, this is how we act in this life. This is how we do things. Even if you, t if you study the baby, human being, the baby, the human being, and take any other animal baby, and you see the way the, the, the human being behave, is they are more, you know, in thinking mode, if you like. They are more ex experiencing things, you know, doing some experiment, try to understand try to achieve results and after one, two years they love to ask questions. They are not even interested to the answer. They really ask a question, they say, well, stop asking. But really that ability, they ask, you need to build it as human being. 
But right now, even as adults, even if you don't talk, you don't stop asking questions. Why? Because this is the way how we communicate as human being with the universe or also the reference of directions. It's by asking questions. When we ask the right question and we have that answer, is really the ilm. It's, it's the ilm also that ability to ask a question, you can see through it a response. And this is the ilm is, is alam also, that things is a sign that can reflect your question really is good question. The universe answered you. The issue is the universe, the problem of the universe is ordered to answer us, but cannot answer us in an absurd way. Unless our question has a meaning, this is why human beings will develop mathematics when they deal with the universe. In physics, we call it applied mathematics. So how does it mean applied? It's mathematics when the universe is present when we make it. Because you can reach a mathematics that has an application. Because it means that we have that ability to, and this is why also Abu Khaldun, when we say, if you want to your kid, don't lie, teach them mathematics. Because, because that way you will put them in, in an environment when really lying for them is, is very hard, you know, <laughs> to do because it's, 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 they see it, it's, 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 it's wrong. They are more in, and so is that the highest level also, when you deal with the universe, if you like, is that, that idea of, of mathematics. That means that question. So this is our nature. So because in all our life we ask, so to be questioned also is not strange of our nature. It really is related to us. So you cannot ask for your life without being questioned. And in our daily life, when we hire someone, work someone, and he keep doing, what does it mean he resolve, trying to resolve some issue for you? It's through the idea of question. But later on, you cannot pay him without asking him too. <laughs> so the, the idea is, the, the ilm is very related to the idea of being questioned too. So it is not something strange to our nature as human being. As we said, this result, we can intercept them. But because we are able to see them, they, in the other world, if we don't work to avoid them in this world, you will see them as a result when, what does mean the other world? is introduced as a world when the truth is present. So it means you don't need that veil Brother Walid was talking about, or Imam Ali is talking about. That means you are able to reach to see it, so you need to work to avoid it. Otherwise you will see it because it's not strange to you, because you are even able to see it. So this is very beautiful too, when you talk about this is the revelation at the human being level. Because in Quran and Islam, the revelation is not something related to just the human being. The revelation is universal concept. The Quran has a lot of universal concepts. One of them is the revelation. But for the other creature, direction and action, they are together. For the human being, they are separate. So you have the challenge to act, but also to have the meaning that goes with your action that can help you moving. Because any one of them, they can chain you, can stop you, can change your position, can take the comment. This, you know, this, uh, this 